It's time for a, another r slash delusional artist video. This one is abstract edition. No one should be surprised that abstract art would be on r slash delusional artist. Abstract art is notoriously criticized for not being real or not being good. And some of these, maybe they belong on the subreddit or maybe not. I'm gonna go over it and see if I agree or disagree. The four piece collection. This is kind of what happens when people try to do abstract art but not really putting that much effort into it. The brush strokes are just done quickly and not that a fast brush stroke is an issue but it's just done without any technique to it. The painting on the top left is looking pretty good to me. You can see if you compare the two top paintings how there is depth even though there's no true form of anything on the left and when you look at the right the underpainting or the background it does look pretty good but then you have the brush strokes in the front they don't look like very much effort went into what exactly they're trying to do there. And and the bottom left, it does look like a kindergarten painting, which it could be a look, but I don't think this is the look that this person was trying to go for. And the one on the bottom right, it's not too bad. It's just, it's hard to see exactly what it is. The color scheme is all very light, the background and the foreground, so it's hard to see much depth there. And the prices for all of these are higher than what I think this artist is able to sell their art for. So I will agree that this belongs on the subreddit. The black and white abstract, just the black background and the white paint pour on it, it looked really good. The artist added some additional black spray paint in the front and it's just too bad that they did that. It doesn't really suit the painting. If you can just visualize it without that spray paint, it's a really good painting and it looks like it is probably a large painting for $340. That's reasonable. Still, if you're an unknown artist, you might not be able to sell this, but you might be able to sell it if it didn't have the spray paint on it. It could be possible to add the spray paint effect like they wanted in a way that looks better than what happened here, but I'm not really familiar with graffiti art so I can't think of a way to explain how that would look better. If anyone watching this is familiar with graffiti art, I'd like to know because that seems like an interesting challenge to put some graffiti art on this and make it look good. I will say I disagree. This does not belong on the subreddit. I just love that black and white painting. Unfortunately, they did the spray paint over it. Even with the spray paint, I disagree. I don't think this belongs on the subreddit. For the randomized paint splat or paint pour, there's a few issues with this listing. The art itself, it's alright. It doesn't really look like there's much put into it, but paint and randomness go good together in my opinion. The price is kind of high and the picture it is not a good picture of the painting. This is one that I'm not sure. I can't really decide if I agree or disagree with it being on the subreddit because I do like the painting. I don't see a size here. It doesn't look very big if you can compare it to the grain of the wood floor, but $150. Some artists do charge that even if they're not really well known and they can sell art for $150. It's just smack in the middle. It's not a definite disagree. I just wish they took a better picture of it. The photography of artwork that you want to sell is almost as important as the actual artwork itself. For the red enigma, judging by this tag, it has abstract in the meme or the sarcastic font, so they don't believe this is real art or it is real abstract. This is a good painting and that's actually a reasonable price, it's actually kind of low. It could use a better photograph of it, sometimes it's just hard, you just don't have lighting and good cameras to take the best picture, but you gotta really try hard to take good photography of stuff that you want to sell. I 100% disagree, this does not belong on delusional artists. This is a good painting. I'm sure everyone looking at this probably will see something. I see a forest in the background and a person in the foreground and even the bottom kind of looks like grass to me. But this is a good example of abstract. It's actually almost nudging into surrealism I would say, but I'm sure some people would disagree with that. Yeah, 100% disagree. This does not belong on the subreddit. It's a good painting and not only is that a good price, they could actually sell it for more. For the original canvas artwork, it's hard to tell exactly what is here because the photographs are not good photos of it. Looks like there's texture to it, which I love. I love textured art. It's actually possible to be able to sell something like this for $300. I don't know if this artist has the network for that just based on these pictures, but a one meter by one meter original painting, abstract or not, for $300, that's a typical price. So even though it looks like there's not much going on here, I disagree. I don't think this belongs on the subreddit. Maybe they might not make a quick sale but I don't think this belongs on the subreddit. That was another r slash delusional artist abstract edition. 
Let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree with what I've said in this video. And if you made it this far, thank you for watching till the end, and I hope to see you again soon.